African drums. I'm sitting in for Elsie Harry who is uh, ill this evening and uh, as you know African drums is the television organ of the Coffee 250 committee. This evening's program is about land, it's about ancestral land, it's about African uh, lands bought by ex-African slaves and um, owned for over 150 years, the ex-African slaves had the foresight to buy land, own the property, divide it into a residence component and also a farm component. They had the foresight to establish this in the names of their descendants in perpetuity. Why is it then at the recent times that we have attempts by others to occupy African ancestral lands? At the end of the program today we hope to bring some clarity to what's going on in general, some clarity with respect to the definition of African lands and more specifically to get a good feel for what's happening in Plaisance because this is the most recent uh, attempt to occupy African ancestral lands which this whole process is being uh, totally rejected by the residents of Plaisance. In us, in the studio today with us we have um, Professor Rudolph James. He is a professor of law at UG. And we have Sean Austin, who is one of the residents of Plaisance, who is actively involved in this process. Welcome, gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you. Professor James, let's start with you. Um, start to set a stage for us in mm -hmm. terms of uh, defining ancestral lands and bringing us from the period of ancestral times in the 1830s mm. to where we are today um, with some simple definitions and then guide us through so that we can understand Plaisance as we go further on into discussion within the context of ancestral lands, ownership, rights, Thank you very much. Um, ancestral lands, when we refer to ancestral lands, we are talking about lands which have come down to our present generation mm -hmm. from ancestors. Uh, I've always held that there are probably three categories of ancestral lands uh, in, in Guyana. Uh, the first category being the indigenous property descendants, sorry, the indigenous property system of the descendants of the original inhabitants of any conquered or settled territory. For example, in Guyana, land owned by our Amerindians. This system has been given recognition um, recently, over the last 10 years, um, starting with the Australian case of Mabo <coughs> in Belize, the Maya of Belize and their land. 
in the case of our Amerindians, they have been guaranteed ownership of the land <coughs> by the Independence Holding Council, Section 17 of the Holding Council. And the ownership is guaranteed in the Independence Constitution. Ancestral land also includes what I call generation land and the down from generation to generation. Example, the backlands of our villages. The third category would be the indentured land rights of the former indentured laborers. Um, these are the categories of ancestral lands that I feel that we have in Guyana. Mm -hmm. As I said, insofar as the indigenous property rights are concerned, those are ownership rights are protected. Uh, we've got some very powerful uh, cases throughout the Commonwealth, Australia, Belize, Canada, Botswana that have firmly established uh, what is called native life, native, native titles. In relation to the ancestral lands of our present generation in the villages, Pleasance being one, um, these lands have been Particularly Pleasance. Pleasance was purchased by our four parents, the ex slaves, and laid out in two parts one part where, which provided residence for the Pleasance, and the backlands, which were allocated for farming purposes. And the backlands continue to be. Um, generation land, ancestral land. Mm -hmm. The front lands have been sold, some have been sold and so on, but the back lands um, are still there and I'm a pleasance in myself and I cherish the fact that um, I'm part of the, mm -hmm. the structure of ancestral land. Mm -hmm. Okay. You are also a Pleasantian, Sean. <laughs> yes, I am. And I understand you walked and you walked the boundaries of uh, of that ancestral land. Could you share with us what the boundaries of Pleasance uh, are, where they are? First of all, I'd like to say good evening. Mm -hmm. And um, yes, we walked the length and breadth of Pleasance mm -hmm. just last Sunday mm -hmm. uh, over 150 persons went down in the backlands to answer your question boundaries going north to south you saying for as we as we have it the sea walls mm -hmm. from the sea wall all the way down to the Lama Conservancy in 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 colloquial terms, we, we pass right away, we pass cross dam and down, down to the Lamaha, which is somewhere to the back of North Ranga. All those lands belong to Pleasance. And going east to west, we are talking about from Graham Street to Victoria Road, which is the main road of Pleasance. Mm -hmm. So that's basically the parameter of Pleasance. Mm -hmm. Okay, so basically the land within that is, in, in colloquial terms, uh, in layman's terms, Pleasant's property. Pleasant's property. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And nobody has a right to do anything with it except Pleasant's people. Mm -hmm. Is that, is that, mm -hmm. understand? So, how is it then that um, we find the activities 
uh, going on where people feel they have a right to to flood the land, they have a right to um, fill it, we have a right, they have a right to um, do a number of things on Pleasant's people property. Um, but before we answer that question, let, let's go back to some of the reasons why uh, why you feel that this is Pleasant's people property, other than the boundaries, like use, permissions, and things that you, you mentioned earlier. Well, first, first let me say this. When the lands were, were bought by our ancestors, mm -hmm. we had the part for residential property, mm -hmm. And that went with the farmlands, as Professor made mention mm -hmm. to. Mm -hmm. It is clear that the backlands go hand in hand with the frontlands, mm -hmm. and that mm -hmm. forever it would belong to the ancestors. Mm -hmm. However, over the years, Gaisuko and other entities, uh, particularly Gaisuko, has been passing through using our lands as a pathway mm -hmm. for punts mm -hmm. and vehicles that belong to the, the company. Back in time they paid tolls to the village council. That simply says that if Gaisuko is going to traverse our path through Pleasance mm -hmm. and you're paying a certain amount of money you are saying I recognize the ownership mm -hmm. of the land mm -hmm. so it is it is very it one cannot comprehend now mm -hmm. why Gaisuko or any other mm -hmm. person would want to think mm -hmm. that the lands do not belong to Pleasance and anymore mm -hmm. so that is one of the reasons why we are being so active and vigilant mm -hmm. because we want to make it clear that these lands mm -hmm. were bought by our ancestors mm -hmm. and they still belong to the people of Pleasant. Mm -hmm. can, I add, can I add two points? Yeah, sure. Those lands, the back lands, they're all owned by Pleasance with individual titles. Mm -hmm. um, either they have titles in the names of the individual or in the names of their for parents, mm -hmm. the ancestors. So for anyone to try to claim land which is owned, protected by title, it appears to me to be what they call land stealing. You're stealing land. Either that, Guyana is a good place for squatting. And maybe Gaisuko or some other body uh, believes that they can occupy or use other people's land and probably claim title after. Mm -hmm. But that is not possible when the individual owners have got title deeds. Mm -hmm. And in any case, for you to claim prescriptive rights, there's a legal process. Mm -hmm. And as far as I know, um, I have got land there, I've got a title deed, there has been no notice to me mm -hmm. that anybody is claiming title to my land. So it's either you put it down to land stealing or mischievousness. Mm -hmm. um, if Gaisuko has been using the land um, and there's a toll involved, they should be asked to pay that. Um, limitation, the limitation statute should not apply and that is land which they are owing. I think you showed me some letter mm, that's right. that said that they owe the village uh, money for the use of the land 
uh, at that time it was four thousand. What year was that? Five thousand. So that was four thousand five hundred dollars in nineteen seventy-eight. From nineteen seventy-eight to now, there yeah. quite a lot of mm -hmm. money owing to the village by Guy Sukho. The other point you said there were two two points. One is the individual titles. Mm -hmm. One is the individual titles. The other one is that squatting on or squatting okay. land is not mm -hmm. is not. Um, well, we do it here, but th there's a process to acquire title by squatting. And as far as I know, they have not no, um, they proceeded on the process to acquire our title by prescription or whatever they, they, they can. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, tell us a little bit about what you are doing to ensure that there is a repository Mm -hmm. of for information concerning mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, indigenous and uh, hereditary mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, ancestral lands mm -hmm. all right because it seems to me that if unless there is a, a place for this information and it's accessible mm -hmm. and it's under the control of somebody other than mm -hmm. um, government entities mm -hmm. then there's always going to be a, yeah. a lacking. So tell, give us a little bit of background yeah. on what you're doing to be sure yeah. that not only for Pleasance but yeah. for but other, other yeah. uh, communities yeah. who yeah. want to yeah. store mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. have a repository for information that yeah. is under yeah. um, your control. Yeah. Um, let me mention the center which we have established um, not so long ago um, last year uh, which we call the PDDRC the Philip Duncan Documentation Research Center uh, one of the objects of that center is to be a storage repository. of a um, depository of um, these documents important to the to the recognition, establishment, and development of the villages. Okay. Um, we have s remember that one would have expected the village offices to have these documents, mm -hmm. but we have seen <coughs> that those offices are not necessarily mm -hmm. the indigenous people's institution. The government established the IMF. MC. or whatever it is, IMC, and you no longer have access. You, they, they put in the IMC anyone um, that they choose to, to, to select, um, and not necessarily with the interests of the village. And therefore, we are hoping that we can be the repository. We will have to photocopy uh, most of the documents. We probably have to get some from the from you're trying to get some press from the British office in London, etc. And that's one object of the um, the, the center. The center is also in recognition of the fact that some of these matters will probably require um, legal actions to establish them, and the center is quite willing. To provide the advice and, if necessary, to pursue any uh, legal claim, uh, the center with any private law lawyer that might be engaged um, in pursuing the rights of villagers, um, not necessarily in Pleasance but other villages. So. Um, the center will welcome and participation in re-establishing the titles of the villages and so on. Also, we are hoping to, to have lec lectures and other discussions with the villagers, the churches mm -hmm. in relation to basic things which we ought to know. And I'm happy that you have drawn to the public attention mm -hmm. the establishment of the P P DDR. Mm -hmm. um, let me say 
that the center has been established, the name is the Philip Duncan Research Center, it is based in Sparandam, and it is built on property, which you might call ancestral land, family mm. property. It's built on what we call children property. Um, the land was bought by Philip Duncan, who was an ex-slave. Mm -hmm. um, he bought the land, Spandam. Mm -hmm. uh, Spandam seems to have developed separately from Pleasance. Pleasance was bought out by, by the villagers. Spandam uh, seems to have been bought from individual planters. Mm -hmm. And he bought that land from one of the planters um, who died and there was an administration of his estate and he had the foresight mm -hmm. to, to buy that land um, for the residence of himself mm -hmm. and his family and that land has come down to the present generation um, that have decided that we should establish uh, this Philip Duncan Center. Therefore, the center is there to, to help not only uh, Spandam or Pleasance mm -hmm. or surrounding villages, mm -hmm. but its doors are open to mm -hmm. all our villages um, in, in Guyana. Mm -hmm. And that's located on 58, 58. West Road. Spandam. Spandam. Mm -hmm. And it's staffed with a, it has a permanent secretary? Yeah, it has a permanent secretary, um, Miss Ingrid Jackson. Miss Ingrid Jackson, yeah. okay. Who, 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 who is a lawyer, who has been a, a teacher of law, um, and who has been a practitioner in the USA, and she has come back to serve mm -hmm. uh, Guyana, so she's located in the center. Um, the directors are. Uh, I must mention uh, some of the directors, their lawyers. Uh, uh, I even forget the names of the directors. <laughs> we're getting, we're getting some prompting Gordon, here. So Gordon, yeah, Christopher okay. Ram, Christopher Ram. Ram Gordon yes, Gilhouse. Gordon Gilhouse. Christopher Ram, Gordon Gilhouse. These are well known um, um, practitioners in Guyana. Professor um, Lutchman. Former Vice Chancellor of Guyana, mm -hmm. Harry Lutchman, but Harry mm -hmm. Lutchman is all huge members of the center, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. And some villages. Yeah. Okay. But well, it is very, very informational. Mm -hmm. Very informational. It's good to know that um, African villages and mm -hmm. villagers are not lying down. They're doing mm -hmm. very constructive things, they're building. Uh, formidable um, mm -hmm. resistance to this attempt mm -hmm. to to uh, to steal mm -hmm. uh, ancestral lands. Um, Sean, is this the approach that you are using right now to deal with this, specifically the Pleasance issue? Could you share a little bit about what uh, what efforts you are making? I know you all walk in the rain and, and <laughs> the 16 miles down to the <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> down to the conservancy <laughs> at 5 in the morning at 5 in the morning in, in addition to this this uh, <laughs> tremendous physical mm -hmm. effort what what other things are being pursued well we have we first of all engaged the government we've called and we've written to the government to be a part of a process engaging Pleasantians, etc., in establishing a number of things, mm -hmm. particularly ownership, etc. That has been futile so thus far. Mm -hmm. We have written to Gaisuko. A matter of fact, this week we had an impromptu visit to the CEO and, and uh, the head office of Gaisuko. We did not get to speak to the CEO. He refused. However, he sent uh, his legal affairs personnel mm -hmm. and the security manager to meet with mm -hmm. us. Mm -hmm. They had, um, during the meeting, we had agreed 
that by Thursday of this week they would have gotten back to us and we would have gone into the vi village, into the backlands, etc. And then we would have had a formal meeting with the attorneys and with the, with the membership of um, mm -hmm. the Philip Duncan Center because first and foremost uh, I'd like to endorse what Professor said mm -hmm. that we are taking this very seriously and apart from the fact that you've seen protests mm -hmm. etc by villages of Pleasance we've decided that maybe there is a, a legal case to be had simply because for some reason, Gaisuko, and by extension, I, I, I want to say maybe the government decides the land does not belong to us. So we have been vigilant in the sense and active in the sense that we've been on the road. Mm -hmm. We've protested against the unlawful, um, I should say, as, as Professor said, squatting mm -hmm. on our lands. Mm -hmm. But apart from that, we've mm -hmm. sought dialogue. We have also we are also seeking to take legal action. Mm -hmm. so. okay. okay. You want to add to this uh, anything? Not really. No. Yeah. No. no. Okay. No. Well, what we're seeing then is um, a formal formidable resistance. Yes. Mm -hmm. Right. You're not uh, mm -hmm. you're not just um, accepting mm -hmm. trucks coming onto the property. You're doing something, and the people. Uh, are in support. Yes. And I understand the other organizations are also mm -hmm. in support of this resistance to yes. this, this uh, action by squatters, for for want of a better mm -hmm. word. Mm -hmm. uh, now, when, um, as you move forward, I'm just envisioning with, with the, the, uh, the Philip Duncan Center. If somebody wants to access your services in the Philip Duncan Center, mm -hmm. because I, s I see this as, as, a, as a rallying center mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. for opposition to all sorts of things that have yes. to do with ancestral lands. Mm -hmm. Let's say I live in, in, in quarantine in mm -hmm. Burbese or somewhere, and I do I, what process do I have to go through to to enlisten mm -hmm. Your, yeah. your support. Well, we have a we have a full time secretary who is all yeah. around there, yeah. and um, the best thing would be to contact the secretary, and she will get the facts. And then we have a, a subcommittee, mm -hmm. edited by uh, Mr. Gilhouse, small subcommittee that will meet, um, discuss the issues, see whether there are any um, legal issues, and whether there's a, a way to, to rather rather than legal, um, I think we will, the center will first try to resolve it by mm -hmm. some agreement. Um, and if that is not possible, mm -hmm. then of course it might be um, taking the matter to court. Mm -hmm. and, but you ask, how can one initiate yeah. um, the help of the, the center and the best thing would be to contact uh, the secretary um, and this there, there is a, an email address there is an email address um, and she will bring it to the, the, the subcommittee for discussion now, while we get some specific information on the email address and the mm. telephone yeah. numbers, because uh, we think this is important mm. that, that mm. the mm. public mm. knows and that villages and other villages mm. that are in a similar situation or, or are concerned that they're possibly going to be attacked in this manner, mm. that they have a recourse. Mm. Um, they don't have to be uh, um, helpless and without a substantial legal mm -hmm. and a technical support. Mm -hmm. uh, the telephone number um, for the Philip Duncan Documentation Center is 222-5176. Uh, 
and the, the attorney there who is secretary her name is Ingrid Jackson so feel free to call uh, if there is a need there is also uh, an email address and that is P D D R Center C E N T R E and that's all one word at yahoo.com all right it's P D D R C E N T R E at yahoo.com um, gentlemen uh, is there a charge for services N no we have not um, no I, I I'm hoping that um, the, the center can raise enough funds that it can give these services without charge without charge yeah okay um, as I said th this th the center first is trying to get together the documents, documents in relation to the establishment of the villages not only Pleasance but other villages and not other documents which are necessary for us to, mm -hmm. to be appraised mm -hmm. of uh, the, the villages and the structure mm -hmm. and their rights and duties all right yeah now uh, um, this is a very interesting mm -hmm. concept the, the PDDR is it um, if one wants to volunteer mm -hmm. to assist mm -hmm. what does one do let's say I am yeah. I'm, I'm retired yeah and I'm a retired yeah. surveyor yeah. and I want to come and volunteer for this yeah. because I feel that I have a bunch of information and technical skills mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that I can support the effort Mm -hmm. yeah. Again, contact the Ingrid Jackson. Ingrid Jackson. <laughs> Ingrid Jackson. Uh, no, she. W no, <laughs> things like that. I mean, obviously, you know, we need even for this pleasant um, matter. We 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 are trying to um, to establish uh, the documents or tr trying to put together the documents that actually the surveys which have taken place mm -hmm. and. Most of them will have to be redrawn, I'm sure, because mm -hmm. these are in such a state that, um, for example, mm -hmm. um, I think Ingrid tells me that the original agreement was in 1839, Nine. and there's a description as the boundaries. Um, if we don't find the plan, mm -hmm. then it might be that we have to ourselves we'll survey. Uh, yeah, we'll survey. Well. Um, there was also a survey in 1851 mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and you go to the government offices and the, the, the survey plan that they give you is no longer readable mm -hmm. and um, they seem not to be concerned yeah. and no, you'll be great help a surveyor or any, any technical person would be of help. Sean, yeah. wait in here. Sean. <laughs> <laughs> I'm yes, I, in addition to, to what Professor said, mm -hmm. I would urge mm -hmm. anyone interested, mm -hmm. whether it's technical or other skills, mm -hmm. to contact Ms. Jackson, be a part of this, what I'd say, movement. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. as Professor said, it's not only to establish a, a right on Pleasance, mm -hmm. but any land throughout the length and breadth of Guyana. Mm -hmm. So this uh, this mm -hmm. center is providing vital service mm -hmm. to the nation and I trust that um, folks would be encouraged now mm -hmm. to know that we will have we have such a center mm -hmm. and that they will take the uh, opportunity or take advantage mm -hmm. of it. But apart from uh, that, you had asked before a number of things that we're doing in Pleasants. We have a, a massive um, drive. Of course, we have a Pleasant Development Committee that has been meeting for years, very active, etc. And we have now decided to have an educational drive to educate our people about their rights, their responsibilities, mm -hmm. and about the ownership of, of their lands. Because what you found that um, many 
persons and this this is not only specific to Pleasants throughout um, the country mm -hmm. of somewhat uh, they don't have the the kind of interest mm -hmm. or, or they don't have the knowledge mm -hmm. of what belong to them mm -hmm. of, of, of what their four parents have, have, have gone through and fought for them mm -hmm. so we have we have a massive drive now that we have we have been having a series of lectures um, every two weeks whereby we bring in resource personnel mm -hmm. to speak on varying topics varying issues to arouse and to educate our people and I trust that villages throughout Guyana should adapt, take this seriously and, mm -hmm. and follow suit because it's very important that we know our history mm -hmm. so that we can carry on and have a successful future. Mm -hmm. So I'm mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I would like to take the opportunity to call on all mm -hmm. other African villages and other villages to do same mm -hmm. because clearly it seems a, like a scheme mm -hmm. of the government or whomever particularly to to possess lands that don't belong to them mm -hmm. it's a serious thing I think um, land is, is has to do a lot with one's success and one's, one's development land is like life mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. to speak mm -hmm. And, and for that to be taken away from you mm -hmm. is to take away your rights, is to take away all that mankind um, mm -hmm. should have interest in possessing. Mm -hmm. Sean, where are these lectures kept? Where are these lectures held right now in, in your community? We hold our lectures at um, the Pleasance Barrel Society Hall. That is in Prince William Street of Pleasance. Mm -hmm. It's a it's a massive building mm -hmm. um, that has been reconstructed and redone uh, with the aid of Eddie Grant mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. a number of other villagers who have as, as come together and put mm -hmm. their monies together mm -hmm. and refurbished, redone that. Mm -hmm. You say a number of other villages? Yes, villagers. Villagers, okay. Yes, mm -hmm. as in Pleasant yes. mm -hmm. Within that, that, mm -hmm. that building, mm -hmm. there is the Eddie Grant Center, where we have um, computers and books. There is a library there that Pleasantians or anybody else mm -hmm. can come and use. There are internet service where students are allowed to do their research and their homework, etc. It's it's the doors are open from eight in the morning to uh, like about eleven in the evening. And Ingrid Jackson is there all the time? No, she that, <laughs> that, that, that <laughs> she's in the Ingrid, <laughs> Ingrid is at the center. The center. But this is now the the, the <laughs> society hall. The society mm -hmm. hall that okay. we hold our lectures and that we it's it's more or less like the the hub of of Pleasance in terms of giving service. We have. Mm -hmm former teachers, lecturers, and other persons volunteering there mm -hmm. to educate our people and to provide access to mm -hmm. facility mm -hmm. that would educate the young ones. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, uh, Professor. Yeah. I'd like to, to say to the public, our people, mm -hmm. that okay, there's a right to, you have rights to property, mm -hmm. There's a duty also. Mm -hmm. The duty is to develop it because mm -hmm. I have before me an act which is called the Acquisition of Lands Not Beneficially Occupied Act of 1984. Mm -hmm. I have not pursued the Sparandam, mm -hmm. the broker. No, the Sparandam land has been acquired. I am not sure whether it was done under the Compulsory Acquisition Act. We're talking about the backlands in Sparring Down. Mm -hmm. The backlands of Sparring, Sparring Down. Okay. Yeah. Not um, Pleasance. Not Pleasance, Sparring Down. Mm -hmm. Under the Compulsory Acquisition Act, of course, you have to pay compensation. Mm -hmm. Under this act, the acquisition of land, not beneficially occupied land, you don't use your land, the government has given itself power to this own 
dispossess you of your land and therefore what I'm saying is that Plasantians and villagers we have to be very serious in terms of developing our backlands in order to protect them to protect them yeah. 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 and this I think is where um, other specialists could mm -hmm. come in and come this in. is why I ask uh, yes, the question yes. Yes. because agriculture, agriculture is, is one yeah. component of it but mm -hmm. there are mm -hmm. other specialists mm -hmm. that, uh, that, that may volunteer mm -hmm. their time mm -hmm. so that they can uh, there's a, there are planning specialists mm -hmm. right so they can uh, yeah. Yeah. in other words come up with yeah. uh, help the presentations come up with yeah. Yeah. a plan of the future mm -hmm. village mm -hmm. yes. that shows you know what what ancestors envisioned, yeah. Yeah. but put it on a map that shows mm -hmm. this is the mm -hmm. residence, mm -hmm. these are the residences, mm -hmm. this yeah. is the recreational yeah, areas, this recreational these, are, these are the churches, this is the football field. That is where we, we, we have got at. Actually, we were discussing, yes. um, we're not going beyond, we want the land first. Yeah. Having acquired the land, we, the center, mm -hmm. we've been discussing the possibilities of doing just what you yeah, said. Yeah. Because it seems yeah. to me it'll be yeah. nice for yeah. all of the yeah. African yeah. villages yeah. to have on the wall, on the wall, yeah. on the wall yeah. a plan, of a plan that says mm -hmm. this is the, these oh, are the yeah. houses, yep. this is the recreation center, these yeah. are the churches, these are the yeah. schools, these are the roads, these are the farms, yeah. 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 this is the security sheds, mm -hmm. and so forth. Mm -hmm. Every mm -hmm. one. Yeah. And it should yeah. be perfectly yeah. Uh, visible and clear, yes, clear, so that there is no question that this is your yeah. land, mm -hmm. and this is mm -hmm. how you plan mm -hmm. to occupy it. Even mm -hmm. though you don't occupy it immediately, immediately but yeah. this is, yeah. and, and and with that vision, you yeah. can then spend yeah. your money yeah. in your community, yeah. 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 right? And then the communities can then yeah. uh, can then develop in accordance with yeah. a dream, a vision. Which was established mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. by the 18 poor parents, 1838, you know, or before. Yeah. Yes, you know. Mm -hmm. What what Go we ahead. what we are doing uh, as Byzantians, mm -hmm. very concerned and very vigilant people, to assist or to to aid Professor and his team mm -hmm. in that in, in that process, mm -hmm. we have solicited the the assistance of two attorneys mm -hmm. in London mm -hmm. who are currently doing that research from the British office mm -hmm. and they by the end of the week we should have enough documentation to support our cause mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and I trust that um, I mm -hmm. feel I think that it would be necessary mm -hmm. that all the villages will have to pursue it that, mm -hmm. that way because um, strange enough I, before um, before we asked the, the help of the center, it was it is clear that when you go to the village offices mm -hmm. or you go to lands and survey and, and the archives and so on, mysteriously these documents are not there, or mm -hmm. the ones that are there yeah, are, mutilated. are are mutilated, mm -hmm. and that alone. S S gives me a, a sense of suspicion mm -hmm. that something is afoot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, um, in that sense, we are going all the way back to the p persons who colonized us, mm -hmm. the British, mm -hmm. because they for sure mm -hmm. would have records. So we're using that avenue as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it seems to me then what the center and the people of Plaisance are trying to do or doing um, is establishing a connection between the ancestor's history, mm -hmm. the vision, and the future of Pleasance mm -hmm. by yeah. providing not yeah. only not talking and gaffing, yeah. but providing yeah. substantive yep. uh, support mm -hmm. to, in fact, help people who want to, not only Pleasance, but other mm -hmm. people who want to. Mm -hmm. uh, have a vision and have it on paper. That's right. Mm -hmm. That this mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. your vision, this is your community, this mm -hmm. is your map. Mm -hmm. This is not yeah. Gaisuko map or yeah. somebody. Yeah. Like this right. is yeah. this yeah. is yeah. Pleasant yeah. map. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it shows these are the churches, these are our mm -hmm. sports mm -hmm. centers, mm -hmm. this is the liquor store. This <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Have yeah. your vision on, yeah. on, on yeah. paper. Health center. 
health, health center. center and, all right. and we, we need to always keep reminding ourselves that, that mm -hmm. this didn't happen uh, and this is not a result of mindless slaves. Mm -hmm. This is a result of ancestors who had mm -hmm. a vision. Mm -hmm. Not only you had a vision, who had the guts yep. to use, to save the money, money to begin with, yeah. which is a monumental task yeah. in those days, oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. to save money mm -hmm. in order to buy. buy. Mm -hmm. This is not a, gr a, a, a generous gift well, by, the to them. by the, bought by the British bought government. This, yeah. is a gift. this was yeah. no gift. This was a yeah. Yeah. And I think this there's nothing short that we that we yeah. should be able yeah. to do to honor this effort. That's right. Mm -hmm. And we need to come up we need to come to the plate. We need to mm -hmm. I think uh, spare no effort in making uh, their vision mm -hmm. move forward, forward so that our children can in fact look back and say, you know, Sean, trouble so bad, but you know the work that was done on this. But I think we need, we, we're being facetious, but I yeah. think it is important to, yeah. to have not only the vision, but to do what you guys are doing. Mm -hmm. To put things in place, to legally defend yourself. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. And also to provide a defense for others, mm -hmm. for others. so that people know that mm -hmm. they're not alone. Because mm -hmm. that's one of the things that, uh, that mm -hmm. in, in the past has, mm -hmm. has been a serious shortcoming, mm -hmm. is that people talked and they never had mm -hmm. any support. So you guys mm -hmm. need to be commended uh, on, on this effort. Yeah. Yeah. And um, <laughs> uh, Sean, <laughs> Sean, you let the fight. <laughs> uh, I think this is something. I think mm -hmm. once this catches on, yeah. it will be uh, formidable and it will be um, less easy to for mm -hmm. people to do what they think they want to do. Norva, it's, it's, it's quite interesting <laughs> as you speak, and uh, you know, to think about it, our ancestors way back in those days mm -hmm. had the foresight mm -hmm. they had the, the, the kind of intellect mm -hmm. to to plan mm -hmm. and to execute that plan mm -hmm. they have many have died mm -hmm. for the cause mm -hmm. many have been beaten and all sorts mm -hmm. of things and of such I, I believe that it is important absolutely important that we hold to this mm -hmm that we educate our people and that we keep this resistance mm -hmm. so that their legacy, our ancestors' legacy, mm -hmm. will live on and be furthered mm -hmm. by the generation, the present generation and generations generation. to come. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Absolutely mm -hmm. important. Mm -hmm. And we are taking it that seriously. Yes, seriously. And, yeah. and we trust that all other villages, as you said, mm -hmm. will take heed mm -hmm. and it will catch on. Mm -hmm. And let's pursue this. Mm -hmm. yeah, I think with, with the with the collective with mm -hmm. the collective knowledge, with the um, specific focus. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it is said oftentimes that becoming informed is the first step towards becoming mm -hmm. conscious. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. And I think we have not been informed. But I think with this effort, with this kind of effort, with this kind of educational thrust, mm -hmm. and that's a very important thing also, mm -hmm. that you're giving lectures. So you're not only doing what you're doing, but there is also a need yeah. to yeah. to yeah. inform. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because with information comes mm -hmm. consciousness, mm -hmm. and with mm -hmm. consciousness and increased consciousness, then we become, we become more aware of the devils and the evils and the other mm -hmm. things that are, mm -hmm. which we we don't really pay attention to unless we become mm -hmm. informed. The, uh, the acquisition of knowledge is very, very important. Mm -hmm. yeah. For you know, you know, I mean, for the, for the lack of knowledge, uh, people perish. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's also yeah. scriptural. Yeah. So one has to to be educated yeah. and informed yeah. so as to know how to operate. Yeah, one of the things too that, that is that is a direct spin off of this is the use of the backlands for farming purposes. Mm -hmm. 
grow your own mm -hmm. food. Mm -hmm. yes. um, mm -hmm. Seems to me there there is a thrust in some villages to grow your mm -hmm. own food. Mm -hmm. So even though things may have been uh, not as active, mm -hmm. there is a thrust now I know in several villages mm -hmm. to draw that boundary mm -hmm. and to occupy it, to farm it, mm -hmm to put in drainage and all of that. Now, talk a little bit about the similarity between what the British did when ancestors did the same thing, in other words, farm it. Mm -hmm. What is the what is the, the similarity with what Gaisuko is doing now and what the slave masters did? Well, Gaisuko is... Um the evidence is that they flooded, flooded yes. it. Well, that's what the slave mm -hmm. master would have done. Yeah, they have done. They, 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 they have done. Yeah. Yeah. They flood, flood the area. You know, um, you're not supposed to be able to stand on your own. You have to go and work with them. Yeah. So they made it impossible yeah. for you to be able to produce your own food mm -hmm. and be self-reliant. Um, they did all that, but I think they failed in the process. Yeah. 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 The will of um, our four parents were too strong no. to be free. Yeah. 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 But I think mm -hmm. I think today we are we are in a similar situation, situation. right? Mm -hmm. uh, yes. With with maybe a similar kind of um, vision of somebody who wants to not have the African villages grow their own food, mm -hmm. develop their own land, pursue their own vision. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think this is something that, as we go back to history, mm -hmm. vision is very important. Ancestors had that mm -hmm. vision. We need mm -hmm. to develop mm -hmm. that vision in ourselves, because without that vision, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I think yeah, it, it, yeah. it becomes yeah. Uh, yeah. it becomes just a talk. It becomes, yeah. but also with the major steps that you are you guys are taking mm -hmm. in Plaza, mm -hmm. I think you are definitely a leading leading the way in this and I think all I could say this on behalf of everybody that I know mm -hmm. that that stewardship, that guidance yeah. Is, yeah. Is, is very important it would be I I sorry, it would be remiss of me to to be here and not mention um, what Guy Suko has been doing and I somewhat uh, it's a form of enslavement again but like Professor mentioned before, mm -hmm. our ancestors <coughs> were um, very forceful. They did not submit to that, and we are not going to do that. Mm -hmm. Guy Suku took a punt, placed it across the, 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 the waterway, mm -hmm. preventing water from coming onto the, um, into the area to for Pleasantians to plant. Mm -hmm. Now that has cre caused great damage mm -hmm. to which mm -hmm. we will speak to the legal people mm -hmm. about because one, our people, the cattle, mm -hmm. cannot go down there anymore. Mm -hmm. the, the, the ones who have been farming, mm -hmm. their crops have been damaged, mm -hmm. trees, those, those mango trees and all of that mm -hmm. have been damaged due to the flooding. Mm -hmm. It is mm -hmm. quite ridiculous, mm -hmm. but we have the the, the will. Mm -hmm. We have the the necessary resources, mm -hmm. and we are going to pursue this in a mm -hmm. structured manner mm -hmm. within the the, the, the legal mm -hmm. parameters. Mm -hmm. So I trust that with that, mm -hmm. I'd encourage every other village and all other villages to come on board, support not only support Pleasants, but to take suit to take that as an example mm -hmm. to pursue their cause. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Sean. We have a few minutes left. Anything you want to add? No, to other Mr. than yeah, yeah. No, other than you have made the point. You have emphasized the, the fact that the PDDRC mm -hmm. um, is there um, to help. Um, Sean did ask that if we can distribute a questionnaire particularly in terms of um, the individual's uh, position, they, they, whether they have titles, 
um, whether the titles are not stuck somewhere in some previous ancestor, the dissenter might be able to to to, to provide the lead legal mm -hmm. magic so that mm -hmm. the titles come in the present uh, okay. ancestor. Um, hopefully, um, if we we get that, we might be able to use some of UG students to mm -hmm. go to the to the office and dig up all the legal documents That's in right. order to trace the titles to the in the current sure. um, owners. Yeah. Having said that, um, you have said it all. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think you have said it all very, very nicely, and we hope that the other villagers will also take some steps to regularize their position. Mm -hmm. I think that the, the point you make about the future, the, the planning of those areas, mm -hmm. this backland area, mm -hmm. uh, in terms planning it properly, mm -hmm. um, which is not only uh, a legal uh, land issue, mm -hmm. an environmental issue mm -hmm. as well, and um, it's very important that we go beyond that as you said each village should have a plan yes. um, what they intend to to do with their back lands yeah. that can come after yeah. 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 good idea yeah yeah well I think what all we're doing here is following up mm -hmm. on what was started since 1838 mm -hmm. and I think we yeah. need to recognize that mm -hmm. visions yeah. the vision that we are living right now and that, that is helping us to create our own vision mm -hmm should also help our children to move forward mm -hmm. with their vision. Mm -hmm. um, so this evening what we have done then with our guests, our guests have clarified pretty much what the status is with respect to the definition of ancestral lands and mm -hmm. also a specific struggle um, that's going on right now in Plaisance. What they've also shared is quite a bit of information on uh, the, the mechanism, a very solid mechanism for support of other villages who who possibly uh, see themselves engaged in this sort of confrontation um, in the future. What we've seen is that there is a there is there is a conscious, solid, um, solidly thought out um, path forward. And I think all the villagers need to understand that this is not just a complaint or a cry. This is a movement about land and about ancestral lands in Guyana that is not going to go away. It is something that we hope to, mm -hmm. and from what I hear, to grow and to become more found, more solid, so that African villages have village plans that show what the village is going to be like. 30 years from now and it's their land is their property and uh, they will treat it as such with such respect and as they move forward so thank you gentlemen for sharing with us for clarifying uh, the issues and mm -hmm. also for saying specifically what's going on in uh, Plaisance I must say thank you for having us as well uh -huh. thanks very much for giving us the opportunity you're most welcome. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you.